Before we get to the step-by-step, -step, it's important you remember to constantly focus on cleanliness and hygiene. Always wash your hands with soap and water and dry them thoroughly with a clean towel, not, say, a dish rag lying around the kitchen. Insert a test strip, top side up, contact bar end first into the test port. The meter will automatically turn on. A beep will sound and the system check will appear, followed by a flashing blood drop icon. Try not to touch the tip of the strip, it could alter the test results. Okay, you have your lancing device. Unscrew the top of the lancing device. Insert your lancet into the open cavity until you hear a click. And see a red button on the side. Twist off the cap from the lancet and save it for later disposal. Screw the top back and turn the dial to the desired depth. Press the trigger button when you're ready to obtain a blood sample. After you prick, you want to give a gentle massage to the area just to coax the blood out. Don't squeeze too hard because other fluids can emerge and corrupt the blood sample. Once the blood is drawn, place it near the tip of the test strip immediately so as not to leave it exposed. The great thing about strips, there's a vacuum effect. Just hold your blood near the top and the strip sucks it up. The device will then give an accurate reading of the blood and alert you if your glucose levels are too high or low. If you are receiving any error codes, please reference pages 27 and 28 in your user manual. If you're getting inconsistent readings, please perform a control solution test on your meter and strips. After completing the test, push the strip ejector to safely remove the test strip. The used lancet is also ejectable, making it safe and easy to dispose. Make sure to push the exposed tip of the lancet into its protective cap. You can always phone our 24-7 call center for professional support. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope this helps.